everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to share a little bit of smelly mail with you. So, um, I am so excited about this right now. So, a beautiful subscriber sent over this package, and it is from a house that I have heard of them before. I've a I've had people ask me about this house before. It is called Genre Perfumes. They're out of Louisiana. Um, they do some clones as well as some original fragrances, but I had never ordered anything from them. And when I opened the box, there were some papers on top. And so I got to reading them and she is like an expert on this house. And um, I'm so thankful that she sent all of this information and she explained it all to me because I really wouldn't have known. Um, I just wouldn't have had this knowledge if she hadn't put it all down on paper for me. So I am so thankful for the fact that she put so much time and effort into helping me understand um, the house and kind of how they work and how you do your ordering. Um, they basically do their ordering kind of like a pop-up shop every, um, I think every like four to six weeks or so. And, but they do have like an Etsy shop that you can order from, I think kind of all of the time. Their website, I think there are certain things you can order all of the time. Um, I haven't had a chance to sit down and really, really look at it because I am telling you guys, I started sniffing these. I was going to go ahead and sniff them all before I sat down and filmed anything, but I was so impressed with the first two that I smelled that I was like, stop, 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 pump the brakes. I need to go put on makeup and film because um, I'm so excited about this. And these are the kinds of houses that really excite me. Um, because number one, their pricing is incredible. And you guys know I love to share like really good fragrances that are at a really good price point. Um, that's like my favorite thing in the whole world. I'm the same with makeup. I love finding amazing makeup that's really, really affordable. I don't know why I'm like that, I just am. She gave me some, some different websites you can get on their Facebook page. Um, I'm actually not on Facebook, so I won't be able to do their Facebook stuff, but I'm gonna link everything below for you guys so that you um, so that you guys can and if you're you know if you do Facebook, which like most normal people do. But anyways, she also sent they have fragrance lists and she printed them out like by category. So these are the inspirations that they do. Uh, these are the originals. She sent me a price list, and I'm gonna tell you guys. So their inspirations, you can get five mil for $4. You can get an original creation, five mil for $7. Um, per, they do oils too, They're, they call them perfume serums. You can get three mil of a perfume serum for $6. Um, shipping cost is only $4 in the US and you get free shipping in the US if you order over $50. They do ship internationally. It does depend on the package weight. So um, she put an example of 0.14 kilograms to one kilogram would be like $25 for shipping, which I feel like for the cost of the fragrances, holy cow, is amazing. She also gave me instructions on how to place an order. So um, I'm gonna go through some of that with you guys after we snip through some of these because you know, if you're not interested after we sniff through some of these, then you can click off at that point. But if you are, then I will um, walk you through how to place an order with them. But anyways, I've got a ton of fragrances here and I'm gonna jump right in. Okay, so this is the box that she sent. And these are, these samples are packaged beautifully. Yeah, when I started opening these up, I was like, oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. Um, another thing that she was talking about was how uh, most of their scents are labeled as unisex. Um, she is like me though, in that neither of us like anything that leans super masculine. And so, and I think we have really, really similar taste in perfume. And that as soon as I was smelling these and like she picked, well, as soon as I started smelling these, I was like, oh my gosh, these are all just, or the, the two that I smelled, they were like right up my alley. I'm just super, super excited. So anyways, let's talk about the first one. The first one is called Skin Timacy. And I just wanna show you guys this packaging. It's gorgeous. 
I can see why she loves this house so much. I mean, gosh, they really just make, yeah, they're just stunning. And this, these are three mil samples, so these would be between like five and seven dollars. Um, which for three mil is amazing. I feel like three mil of perfume is a huge, that's like a lot, that's a huge sample. You're gonna get several, probably even a handful of full wares out of it. Um, and I love, they are located in Lafayette, Louisiana. And yeah, just such a neat house. Okay, so Skin Timacy is, this one is labeled as unisex, it is an eau de parfum. It is labeled as all seasons. The notes on this one are lemon peel, whiskey, white oak, lily of the valley, iris, cashmere wood, sandalwood, uh, white musk, and amber. And, oh, it's beautiful. This one, to me, it kind of smells like a little bit mid Middle Eastern. Oh, it is so beautiful. It is unisex, but I would say it does lean a little bit feminine. To my nose, it's kind of just a touch sweet. You get the lemon in the top. You definitely get a smooth Lily of the Valley in the middle. I think it's a combination of the sandalwood and the cashmere wood that gives it that kind of Middle Eastern vibe. It's really beautiful. It is warm and kind of skin-like kind of slightly woody. It even has maybe like a touch of an incense-y. Yeah, kind of like a touch of, it doesn't have incense in it, but it gives you that kind of warm incense-y feel, but in a clean way. It's really, really gorgeous. This is one of their original creations and it's stunning. And yeah, look how this is a, that is a three mil sample. So you can see that is a lot of fragrance for a sample you'll definitely get quite a few wears out of that. Um, so yeah, that is the first one, it's called Skin Timacy. And then this is what the packaging looks like on the next one. I'll have to wait until I get in here to let you know which one it is. Okay, this one, this one is called Masquerade. Um, this one, this one she doesn't have marked on the list, but this one reminds me of something I, think that this is a clone of something. Yeah, this is so familiar. This one is really, really beautiful. It's, um, this one almost reminds me of like plum or something. I don't think it's plum. I think it's some kind of a flower and it could be plum, but it's some kind of really smooth, warm, juicy fruit that's not overly fruity. It doesn't read like a fruity fragrance, if that makes sense. Oh, it's really, really beautiful. Okay, so it's funny because I was gonna say, um, it's almost more of like a passion fruit. I was thinking that in my head, rather than being a plum, it's almost more of like a passion fruit. Passion fruit for me usually smells really, really fruity though. And it is passion fruit. It's passion fruit, quince, and saffron, osmanthus, amber, rose, and cardamom, white musk, leather, sandalwood, birch, and patchouli. This one is actually a clone of a Tiziana Terenzi, of Tiziana Terenzi's Sierra. So I knew, I, I knew that I had smelled <laughs> something like it before. It's beautiful, you guys. These smell amazingly high quality. I mean, really, this one straight up smells like a niche fragrance. I mean, it, it is a niche fragrance, really, but it's got this quality of a Tiziana trends. Like, I wouldn't know that I wasn't smelling the real thing, honestly. It's amazing, so I'm, I gotta, Sorry, you guys, I'm I'm like so excited. I'm going on and on about every one of them and I will be here for two hours if I keep doing this. But anyways, that one is called Masquerade. Again, it's a clone of Tiz Tiziana Terenzi Sierra and it's stunning. Okay, next we have this one here called Decadent Latte. So this was one of the two that I sprayed on my hand and then decided I needed to stop immediately and just, oh my gosh, you guys, I love this one so much. I'm also gonna go through and tell you all of the fragrances that they've got clones for um, in case you're interested. And if you are interested and wanna know which one to look for on the Genre Perfumes website um, for that clone, just put it in the comment section and I'll, I'll answer you with, with the genre version of it um, just because it's a huge list. And um, yeah, I just wanna tell you which ones you can get a clone for and not go through not tell you the name so if you're again if you want to know just ask and i'll 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 answer okay so 
Decadent Latte is an original creation. Their bottles are super cute too. I just wanna show you the bottle really quickly for Masquerade. How cute is that bottle? Oh my goodness. I love, it gives me Armani Privé vibes. And I'm telling you guys, a 35 ml bottle of, these, of, of most of these is $30. The prices are insane. I, I can't even with those prices. So good. And again, that the cute bottle, this one has a black cap instead of red. I think the bottles are so adorable. And you can get on their website, which is Louisiana, well, Louisiana Roma. <laughs> so all one word, Louisiana Roma, super cute, dot com, or they have an Etsy shop as well. So the, the notes on this one are uh, bergamot and mandarin, jasmine, osmanthus, chocolate, and vanilla beans. Base notes of coffee absolute, cacao beans, tonka beans, white musk, and woody notes. They describe it as being a true gourmand. It is amazing. It smells like, it is like a lemony, chocolatey, vanilla. You get some coffee in the base. It's a really, really smooth coffee. It is so good. Ugh, I can't wait to drench myself in this one. And if I want a full bottle, it's $30. I cannot even with the prices. It's amazing. And she talks about how the people that started this house, they all have full-time jobs jobs otherwise this is just like a side hustle kind of thing or um how, what does she say so the owner's name is Devin bro and everyone who works to create and send out fragrances all have full-time jobs and do this in their spare time which is amazing I mean I feel like they're doing the fragrance community as super service for making such amazing fragrances at such an affordable price but anyways that one is called decadent latte it's so good um, now we're going to get into all of the ones that I have not smelled and I am so excited. So these next ones, these are bigger. I think these are five mil and they come in this beautiful black, really nice like Ziploc bags. There's three fragrances in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. Yeah, these are the three or the five mil. Okay, we have got Apples and Aces, which this is an original creation. And I was so excited when, because she put the notes for this in the little note that she wrote. And they're, it's, it sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these are like the fragrances of my dreams because I, love. I just love fragrances like this. I love anything that's like warm and cozy and kind of gourmand leaning or decadent smelling. I just love them so much. So I'm going to read what she wrote, which is directly from their website about this fragrance. Um, so it says, here's a description of Apple and Aces from the owner. She said, by the way, go easy on the sprays. So this one must be pretty strong. It smells so good. Okay, this one, it says apples and aces and is an olfactive representation of a good old Louisiana soiree. Brisk Friday nights enjoying family time over an intense card game. Aces being slammed down on the 20 year old card, card playing table with the wobbly legs that no one can seem to break. Adult beverages being served in various mixtures, mixtures as the scent of freshly fermented apple whiskey whisks around the table. The smell of vanilla and baked desserts enter the room from the kitchen, adding an addicting sweetness to the air. That laid back uncle arrives and contributes to the nuance, the scent of a cold leather jacket, jacket slightly tinged with a dab of smoke, cool, and K-O-O-L, like, I guess like cool cigarettes. Are those still a thing? I remember those from when I was a kid. I don't know if they're still a thing, but. People are laughing, people are singing. The night is what the night was. All that's left on the next morning is an echo from the night before. So, super fun. I mean, it just evokes such an image in your head. We've all been at like family nights like that and I mean, you can just imagine. All the kids are eating all the treats and the sweets. All the adult, adults are, you know, playing games and sipping on adult beverages. All the kids are running around screaming and playing and having fun together. It takes me straight back to like my childhood in the 80s. 
But anyways, that one is called Apples and Aces. It's amazing. I cannot wait to test these guys. You, you all know the deal. <laughs> After I test them, I will put them in a What I Wore Last Week video so I can give you the lowdown on how they performed, how they smelled on my skin, um, how long they lasted, if I needed to reapply them. Um, you know, just my overall thoughts of, of my experience with them. So anyways, that one is called Apples and Aces. Okay, next we have this one called Rouge et Blanc. She said this is one of her favorites, so I am really, really looking forward to this one. Okay, so this one is an original. This one is really clean smelling, still warm though. It's like warm and clean. Okay, so this one is Mandarin, Bergamot, and Lemon, Incense, Apple, Melon, Jasmine, Blackcurrant, Saffron, ambergris, musk, and vetiver. It's slightly sweet. It's really tart smelling. There's a, there's a real freshness in the top. Slightly sweet, fresh. It's really, really citric. You get all of that citrus in the top, the mandarin, the lemon, and the bergamot. It's really, really citric. I have a feeling that that kind of mellows out as it wears on the skin though. And that's another thing. Anytime I'm spraying on dabbers, I try to take it with a grain of salt with what I'm smelling because things smell so much different on skin than they do on paper. I definitely am getting, the melon is starting to peek through, the black currants, the musk. It's beautiful. Ooh, I can't wait to test that one on skin. I just think it's gonna be, this is like a perfect all year round one. It, this one might not be best for like the dead of winter because it's kind of a fresh, clean, uplifting fragrance, but it's still warm. But yeah, it might not be like cozy enough smelling for winter, but I could see it in every other season. Really beautiful. So that one is called Rouge et Blanc. Beautiful. Gosh, these are, I can't believe. For the price, you guys, I can't even. I just can't even. Okay, next we have got this one here called Essence. Oh my gosh, okay. This one is, oh, this one will make your mouth water. This one is so yummy and juicy. It's so juicy smelling. It almost smells like straight up grape Kool-Aid grape juice. I mean, and I'm just, of course, I'm just getting the, the top, the initial spray, but the initial blast of this one is so juicy. It smells like if you are an 80s kid and you remember the big pitchers of Kool-Aid that you had to put a whole cup of sugar in and mix it for five minutes to get all the sugar mixed in, Holy crap, that's what this smells like. It almost It's almost like bl the blue Kool-Aid. And if you guys remember when the blue Kool-Aid first came out, like, I don't know. But of course it doesn't smell cheap like that. It smells really, really good, but, but so juicy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, this one is... This one is called Essence, and this one is Mandarin, Bergamot, and Raspberry, Jasmine Rose, Caramel Accord, Saffron, Sandalwood, Benzoin, Vanilla, Amber, and White Musk. And all I get at the for, from the initial spray is that Raspberry and Caramel Accord. It is straight up yummy, make your mouth water, juicy, I want to eat this, I want to put it in a cup and drink it. It is so good. You can smell though, as it's drying down, a lot of the other notes are starting to come out. So that kind of initial Kool-Aid vibe that you get is falling by the wayside and then you can start to smell some of the flowers and uh, the amber and the benzoin. Yeah, and some of the more, I love this one, you guys. I love it. You know, I love anything that makes me want to eat it, and this smells like something you want to eat. Wow, this one is so, so good. Ooh, I can't wait. This one is gonna take me back to my childhood somehow and be like, oh gosh, it's good. It's so good. So anyways, that one is called Essence. Amazing. Yeah, I don't even know what the rest of these are because I didn't even get this far. <laughs> I got to the little, um, 
the three mil samples and that was it. Okay, this one has four in it. So they've got, she explains how they've got all these different lines as well, which I'm gonna go through a lot of that stuff with you guys at the end so that those of you that are really interested in pursuing these um, have a lot of the information and those of you that really aren't can just click off. But um, yeah, this is a different line and the labels are a little bit different. So let me see if I can. So the labels on these are a little bit different. Really, really beautiful. I just feel like the packaging on these, the fragrances themselves, everything about these are so good. So good. Okay, this one is called Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi is an inspiration or a clone and it is of Lorga Parfums Ombre Platine, which I have never heard of that one before. So let us let me look this one up so I can tell you what the notes are. I'm just so, so impressed by these. I can't wait to start wearing them. Okay, and these, oh my gosh, you guys, you can get a 30 mil bottle of these for $25, $25. I can't even with the prices. They're just amazing. So this one is uh, supposed to be unisex. Um, this one is almond, man almond, mandarin, orange, and bergamot, cinnamon, pink pepper, rose, and jasmine, caramel, amber, tonka bean, and vanilla amber wood. Um, and again, it's a clone of Loga Perfumes Amber Patine, I think is what I said. Oh man, and this one is sold out and I can totally see why. You guys, this is like amber. So if you like Ombre 114 from Histoire de Perf Parfums or, or even if you like something like Halston Amber, but add kind of a slightly powdery almond note to it, Oh my gosh, that's what this is. This is like the most beautiful kind of traditional smelling amber. But if you added a powdery almond note to it, this is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. It is so good. It smells incredibly niche, which I'm imagining that I've never heard of that perfume before. Lo Loga, Loga Parfums Amber Patine, I think is what I said. I've never heard of that before, but it, it smells amazing. If you guys like Amber, I think you would absolutely love this one. And for $25 for a 30 ml bottle, what an amazing price. So anyways, that one's called Excusez-moi. Okay, next we have this one here called Afro Retro. I believe this is the one that is a clone of Byredo Baldafrique, which is my favorite Byredo fragrance. Yes, I love this so much. Oh my gosh, and it's an amazing, it's a vetiver, kind of a vet vetiver-based perfume. It's got something soft in it though. Gosh, I just don't remember what the notes are that are in Baldefric, but if you know Byredo Baldefric and you like it, I think you would love this. This is an amazing inspiration of it. So anyways, that one is called Afro Retro. I can still smell that really, like, make my mouth water, make me want to eat it. it. What is it called? Essence. I can still smell that in my nose. It's amazing. Okay, next we have this one here called 30... Sorry, called 337. And this one is a clone of Bond number no. nine, Bleecker Street. Oh my gosh. I think I've got a sample of Bleecker Street, so I will have to test them side by side. This, it's really, this one's kind of fruity and warm. There, I think there are some spices in it. It's kind of like a spicy, fruity, warm. It's very, uh, very, very unisex, this one. I could definitely smell this one on a man. It smells like it's maybe got some vetiver in the base or some soft woods. It's really, really nice. If you like Bond Number no. 9 Bleecker Street, I think you would love it. So anyways, that one is called 337. Yeah, and the ones, if I am not telling you the notes, it's because I um, can't find them on their website. Okay, next we've got this one here called Dimension One. Okay, I can't, I'm not seeing this one on their website either. These might be ones that you can only get kind of when they pop up, um, when they do their pop-ups. Ooh, this one's nice. This one leans a little bit masculine. Yeah, this one definitely leans pretty masculine. 
It's super nice though. It's really light. It's inoffensive. Not light in that like weak. It's light and as in it's not like a heavy fragrance. Definitely getting some citruses in the top. It smells like maybe something a little bit aquatic and then some soft woods in the base. It's nice. It's really nice. It's just it is a, a touch on the masculine side, but super nice. So that one is called Dimension One. Okay, and then I was kind of reading a little bit and these ones, yeah, these are, they're different lines. This line right here, this one is called LA. It's pronounced LA Aroma. And this one here is a women's line. Um, if you read through a little bit on their website, it talks about how they kind of started more making unisex and uh, masculine scents. And then they, so then they dedicated a whole line of just women's fragrances. So, okay. Oh, these are the oils. Okay, I'm so excited. I, you know, how you guys know I love oils. These I'm gonna test directly on my skin. So we've got praline musk and almond musk, and I am so excited to try these. Okay, so we're gonna start with praline musk. Yeah, these, it looks like these only come in a perfume serum, which is what this is called. Look at the color of this. It's really milky, like it would be really moisturizing. Okay. I feel like this one is going to be amazing. The consistency of these, they're so fragrant. They start warming on your skin immediately and it is, wow. So this is a, this is a clone of Nishane Ani. I could smell it immediately as it started wafting off of my skin. Oh my gosh, but it's so good. This one is a little bit creamy and citric in the top. It's like creamy lemon and spices. Okay, so praline musk is ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, cardamom, black currant, rose, vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cedar, patchouli, musk, and gourmand notes. So, so nice. If you love Nishane Ani, this is such a good alternative. I've got two other clones of Ani, and I think this smells way better than either of my other ones. To be totally honest, I've got one from Dua, and I've got one from Be Laird, and they're both really, really nice, but there's something about this one. I think it has to do with the fact that it's in this serum that makes it warm on the skin. Sometimes the spices in my other two, sometimes the spice aspect, overpowers everything. You don't smell the vanilla, you don't smell the ginger, you really don't smell any of the other notes. You just get a lot of the spices, the cardamom and the pepper. It kind of takes over everything, whereas this one you're getting the creaminess and you can smell the warmth of the ginger and the citrusy lemon and you're really getting everything and it warms on your skin so beautifully. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So that one is called Praline Musk, uh, Nishane Ani. And then last but not least, we have this one here called Almond Musk. This one I'm probably the most excited about. I'm such a huge fan of any kind of an almondy perfume. It's such a beautiful thick oil. It's so moisturizing, but it sinks into your skin. Oh my gosh, I knew. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be my favorite, my favorite thing ever. As soon as I started list looking at the fragrances she sent and looking at the ones that she highlighted, when I saw the almond musk one and I looked at the notes, I knew this was gonna be my favorite thing and it absolutely is. This smells incredible. Um, so almond musk is almond milk, ambrette, iris, freesia, tuberose, vanilla, tonka bean, and musk. I don't even know where to start with this. You smell the tuberose, but it is the tuberose and iris combination in this is so beautiful. It's sweet, but slightly powdery. The tuberose isn't overpowering everything like tuberose can sometimes do. It's just perfectly blended with everything else. You know, I love a fuzzy ambrette note. It's one of my favorites. It's so warm and beautiful. The almond is really gorgeous. It's almond, but it doesn't smell like marzipan. It doesn't smell like an edible almond. It's more of like a perfumey almond. So it just adds to the warmth of this beautiful, fuzzy, floral, slightly sweet, 
warm, cozy. It's stunning, you guys. I'm gonna give you a close-up of, so that's what the little, I think this is, yeah. So this is a three mil, and the three, this size of a perfume serum is $6. That's so much perfume oil right there. Like you're gonna get a ton of wear out of one, just one of these. You can get an eight mil bottle of the perfume serum for $15. We'll be getting on this website immediately and putting together a cart because I am thoroughly obsessed. I can absolutely see why she is in love with this house. Um, so I do wanna go through, so let's talk a little bit about the pricing. It's the, inspirations and I'll tell you what sizes they come in so the inspirations come in 5 mil for four dollars 10 mil for ten dollars or you can get three 10 mil for twenty five dollars 30 mil for twenty five dollars 50 mil for forty five dollars or 60 mil it says 60 mil rue only I'm not totally sure what that means um, but those are thirty five dollars you can get a 10 mil travel case. I guess it comes with a bag only for 10, or for, sorry, for $20, or a bag and 10 10 mil perfumes for $100. That's 10, that's, that's basically like $10 per 10 mil fragrance plus a free bag. Um, the original creations are, you can get a 5 mil for $7, a 15 mil for $20, or a 50 mil for $50. You can get the original perfume serum, $3, sorry, 3 mil for $6, 8 mil for $15, or 30 mil, which is a ton of oil, for $45. Um, we talked about shipping, and I do want to quickly tell you um, what they have clones of. So they have inspired fragrances of Clive Christian Number no. One for Men, Killian Intoxicated by Rado Black Saffron, uh, Maison Francis Kirkjian Oud Satin Mood, Tom Ford Fabulous, effing fabulous, by Rado Mojave Ghost, Creed Royal Oud, Tom Ford White Suede, Dior Ombre Nuit, Tom Ford Venetian Bergamot, Creed Green Irish Tweed, Bond Number no. Nine New York Amber, Killian Moonlight in Heaven, Creed. Uh, Erolfa, Joe Malone Murin Tonka, Tom Ford Oud, Oud Wood, Creed Virgin Island Water, Lancome Oud Bouquet, Le Labo Santal 33, Tom Ford Black Orchid, Dior Eau Sau Sauvage Parfum from 2012, Victor and Rolf Antidote by Rado Ball d'Afrique, Chanel Egoist, uh, Creed Original Santal, Killian Black Phantom, which I am probably going to go for that one. Creed Royal Mayfair, Raja Elysium Parfum Cologne, Killian Gold Knight, Creed Silver Mountain Water, Chanel No. 5, Chanel uh, Ante Anteus, Mansara Roses Vigny, Zerjoff Naxos, Diptyque Eau de Sens, Parfums de Marley Layton, Bond No. 9 Bleecker Street, Bond No. 9 Scent of Peace for Him, Le Labo Bergamot 22, Clive Christian 1872, Chanel Allure Homme Sport, Montal Oud Lagoon, Montal Tropic Woods, Tom Ford Plum Japonais, YSL Tuxedo by Rado Pulp, which I love by Rado Pulp. Um, I might go for that one too. Tom Ford Noir de Noir, Frederick, Frederick Malvin Knight, Maison Francis Kirkjian Absolute Pour Le Soir, Tom Ford Oud Mineral, Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait, Initio Side Effect, Profumum Roma Moringa, ooh, I'm interested in that. Nazamato Nudiflorum. I love Nudiflorum so much, you guys. That's, I have the oil of that fragrance and it is fantastic. And I bet their clone is amazing. Uh, Raja Dove Amber Extrait, Maison Margiela Replica Jazz Club, uh, Replica by the Fireplace, Tom Ford Lost Cherry, Initio Psychedelic Love, So Oud Nur, Nur Parfum Nectar, Bond number nine, Lafayette Street, Ex Nilo Fleur Narcotique. Ooh, I might go for that one. Chanel Boy. Ooh, I might go for that one. Armani, Armani Privé Blue Lazuli. Killian Lemon in Zest. I might go for that one. Zerjoff Dolce & Malfi. I'm probably going to go for that one. Uh, Maison Francis Kirchian, Gentle, Gentle Fluidity Silver. Parfums de Marley, Meliora. Zerjoff Italica. Um, I might go for that one just to see. 
I'm not a huge fan of the Zerzhov version, but I bet their version is good. Zerzhov uh, Com Commandante, Killian Woman in Gold, Guerlain Queer Beluga. Oh my gosh, I might need to get that one just to do a, is it a dupe video? Um, Guerlain Tonka Imperial, Tom Ford Fouge D'Argent, Initio Oud for Greatness, Initio High Frequency, Parfums de Marla Safinade, uh, Parlez Moi de Parfums Mile High. Oh, I might have to go for that one. Initio Oud for Greatness, Initio High Frequency, Mansara Instant Crush, Clive Christian Rock Rose, Tiziana Terenzi Wurtanen, Prada Mirage Babylon, Louis Vuitton Sur La Route, Eccentric Molecules Eccentric O2, Maison Francis Kirkjohn Fluidity Gold, also Fluidity Silver, which it says also Louis Vuitton Orage. So I guess MFK Fluidity Gold and Louis Vuitton Orage are similar and they've got a clone for both of those. MFK Fluidity Silver and Initio Musk Therapy are, are must be the same thing and or close or must be clones of each other and they have a clone for that. Uh, Royal Crown Royal Crown Sultan M. Mikalef Desire Toxic. Oh, I might have to go for that. Lorga Parfums Ombre Platine. That one is amazing, you guys. I can't wait to wear that and let you know how it is. Uh, Bulgari Le Gem Empire. Marc Antoine Baroy Baroy Ganymed. Elisab Essence Number no. 10, Amand and Tonka. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know I've been wanting that fragrance and I won't be able to find it because you can't find that one anymore. So I will absolutely be buying a clone. I'll, I'll be buying this one. Um, and Tom Ford Patchouli Absolute. This Nishane Ani is hands down the best clone of it I've ever smelled. Way better than my other two. Oh my gosh, and this one, the almond one. I can see why she loves these so much. Then I also just quickly wanna go through this. She said, that so when they do their kind of pop-up shop style ordering window and i think you have to you have to get on subscribe to their customer contact list um, and add your contact info to receive an email notification that will let you know when these kind of pop-up shops happen um, and when they do that and it says they do it every month to month and a half so I, again like every four to six weeks you do have to you do have to download like a scent list and it will also give you pricing there's a PDF file or an Excel file that you can download. Once you do, you basically go through that. They said that also once the announcement is made, there will be a link. So I guess if you get an email, they're in the email, there will be a link that is for order submissions. So you will click on that link and then there's a form that you basically will fill out and with everything that you want. And then once you fill that form out, you click submit. And then once you submit that form, they're gonna send an email to you, and, but they said that it could take two to three days to get the email back depending on how many orders they have coming in and how many orders came in before yours. It could take two to three days, but they will email you back eventually, which will be an email giving you payment instructions. So then you'll go ahead and pay. And then they said that they've got a shipping software. So as soon as your order ships, you will get an email with tracking. It sounds kind of, um, it does sound a little bit complicated, but I don't think that it is. And they said that it takes about five minutes to do to complete the whole process. Probably the hardest part is gonna be having to narrow down the fragrances that you want. Um, which, thank you so much to the subscriber who sent these over to me. I would have never known. And I am so excited to have a new, really affordable house to explore and to be able to share with you guys. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.